Today I will be showing you how I achieved this high puff. I first put my hair in two strand twists. Then I wrap them around to bend two knots and the majority of my hair has been done already. These are the products I used. My hair has been washed and conditioned already and air dried. I also apply a leave-in conditioner. You can use the product of your choice. Everyone's hair texture is different. What works for one person may not work for the next person. But this is the product of my choice. And so, the product you use, make sure you put a generous amount in each section. Make sure your hair is completely saturated. You have to use enough product. And when you do your two strand twist, make sure you have two even sections. You can't borrow hair from the other section. So make sure you split the sections in half and then you do your twist. Which will make it a whole lot easier when you're taking the twists apart. Because basically all you'll have to do is pull those two sections right apart. If you start borrowing hair, you won't be able to pull the two sections apart. Well, you will be able to pull them apart, but they will be frizzy. And it will also mess up the curl pattern. I do the two strand twist, then the bed two knot, because I like the curl pattern. The curls are a lot tighter and they last longer. When I try to do a puff with just the two strand twist, the curls are loose and they don't last very long. So this is the technique of my choice. I'm going to do the same thing for this section here. Apply my product. I'm applying more product. Split it in half. Start twisting around. Remember, do not borrow hair. When I twist my bantu knot around, I just wrap mine around my finger and I keep twirling it around. And then I tuck it in. But you can use bobby pins to secure your hair if necessary. See, I just twist it around. That's what I do for the remainder of my hair. If you like big curls, you could choose to use bigger sections to do your twist. Or if you like smaller curls, you could use smaller sections. It's completely up to you.
Okay, I'm going to start speeding this up some. If there's a part you miss, just rewind it. Watch it in slow motion. Practice makes perfect. One of the good things about wearing your hair natural is it doesn't have to be neat to be pretty. I don't think my hair is ever neat and I get tons of compliments every day. Every single day I get so many compliments on my hair. I kind of like the messy look, the not so neat look, so that works for me, but... Everyone has their own preference. That's just mine. Okay, I've completed my whole head of hair. Normally, I will let my hair air dry, but I use a diffuser to speed up the process. Because for some reason, my hair in the back takes a very long time to get dry. So... It's the next day and my hair is dry. I'm going to spray in some oil sheen. And that's the only kind of oil I'm using in my hair. Now this goes back to the two strand twist where I said have two even sections. If you notice all I did was pull them apart. Watch closely so you can see how I took them apart. Stuck my finger in the middle between the two sections. And there's the curls. And I repeated this throughout my entire head. Just going to speed it up. If you miss something, just rewind it, slow it down, and rewatch it. All I'm doing is taking the hair apart.
now I'm just going to dampen my hair a little so I can push it up into a ponytail. I'm sorry, not a ponytail, a puff. I have my stretched elastic. And make sure you only use a very little water. Just enough to brush your hair up. I don't use gel because I don't like a lot of product in my hair. Some people like to use a lot of gel on their hair to slick it up. But I don't mind my hair not being slick. So I just dampen it a little, brush it up. And that's how I wear it. Be sure to only brush the hair as far up as you want the puff. Don't brush it to the curls that you want curled in your puff. Move the headband up till you get to where you'd like your puff to be. And then you can secure your headband with bobby pins. This is how I like my hair to be in the puff, just brushed up with simply using water. To me, it's not necessary to use a lot of products, especially a lot of gels in your hair. To me, it just adds build up, in my opinion. And it's really just not necessary all the time. I'm now lifting the puff with the pick. Sorry, for some reason I'm not in the camera. But I'm not lifting my curls. I'm just lifting from the roots a little. I'm not messing up the curl pattern at all. I'm not, I'm not pulling the pick up through the curls. You simply play with it till you achieve the look you're looking for. And also try to cover the headband that you use, the elastic, with your hair. Right now the curls are pretty tight, but what I do like about this hairstyle is each day the curls will get a little loose and the puff will get a little higher. I don't take my puff down at night to go to bed. I just tie my hair up, then I put a bonnet over it. And simply keep playing with it and separating pieces of hair till you get your puff to look the way you want it to look.
I'm going to gel my edges. Then the style will be complete. Then I will show you pictures of how my hair looked each day. With me doing absolutely nothing to it but tying it up. And then after I tie it up, I place a bonnet over my hair. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope this helped. And please like and subscribe.